Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Queens. Today we are giving you an everything you need to know guide about Long Island City here in Queens. It's going to be an everything you need to know guide about this small little neighborhood in Queens here in New York City. But before we jump into it, I want you guys to subscribe and turn on those notifications so you don't miss a single video because we are covering literally every notable neighborhood and every notable borough in New York City. So you don't want to miss a single episode. And before we do that, let's roll the intro. <laughs> Welcome down to Queens, ladies and gentlemen. We are doing our first kind of official Queens episode today. Uh, I've come down to a park called Gantry Plaza State Park, and this is like a uh, little open area here that you can come on the edge of Long Island City. So the city is called Long Island City, but it's in the borough of Queens. It's not actually in Long Island, um, but it's where kind of Long Island begins. So we have a nice little entrance here as well that kind of says, Long Island on two little containers and a beautiful view of Manhattan. But there's tons of stuff to see and do here. It's a really quiet and artsy new up and coming area in New York City. It's a really cool neighborhood. So we're gonna bounce around here in the area and visit some of the top sites that you need to see in Long Island City. But this is our number one Gantry State Plaza Park, whatever it's called. Uh, it's a pretty cool place. The views from this state park are absolutely incredible. And there's some really nice grassy areas like right back here for you to come chill out at. And uh, well, right by here on the other side of this park is kind of like Long Island City's most famous statue, sculpture, structure. And I'm gonna go hit it up right now. Um, it's pretty ridiculous that it's like the most famous thing, but it's still cool, so we're gonna check it out. Alrighty, so here it is, Long Island City's most famous site the Pepsi Cola sign. I know it's a little bit ridiculous that a, a Pepsi Cola sign is like the most famous thing in the neighborhood, but it's what a lot of people actually come here to see. There are a few other sites that are more notable, but once again, you do have the amazing views because it's here in Gantry State Park, and you also have the ferry that can take you to different places around New York, just right over there, but the Pepsi Cola sign, it's right here. You can see it from a lot of other places in the city, including if you're on that side of Midtown or on Roosevelt Island, which is right over there, but that is the famous site of Long Island City, the Pepsi Cola sign. Alrighty, I am heading out out of Gantry Plaza State Park right now. I have to say it is a weekday, so I understand why it's so quiet, but this is a very quiet residential area here in Queens. Um, it's kind of like an up and coming neighborhood where a lot of people, a lot of families are moving in because the rent is cheaper than living in a lot of places in Manhattan. So don't come here with the expectation of doing like wild activities, but it's still pretty cool. It's a nice chill area. So we're leaving the waterfront right now. We're gonna head into town because there's a couple cool few spots that I wanna show you guys when we're in Long Island City. The reason why the area here is the way it is is because this place is very similar to areas in Brooklyn like Williamsburg where this place used to be very industrial Long Island City used to be full of warehouses with you know very industrial buildings and businesses and now more modern businesses have moved into what used to be you know an old uh, warehouse they used to do industrial work so we have a bunch of different businesses that are based right here in kind of the warehouse district of Long Island City and the first one being the Rockaway Brewing Company this is a really famous local New York beer they make a bunch of different types of beers and they're located right here they're based out of here the name is based off of a place in Queens called Rockaway Beach but they do have a brewery right here in Long Island City and you can kind of see you take a look through the window and see kind of like the different things that they're creating and the brewing company but it's very cool and I'm pretty sure that you can come here and do brewing tours you can do a brewery tour and walk around and see the uh, different things that they're creating so come check it out Rockaway Brewing Company so we are on the site of a couple places right here this kind of open plaza is home to the Long Island City flea which is kind of like a open flea market that happens I think in the summer months it doesn't really happen right now as well as just being right across the street from the Rockaway Brewing Company it also is home to the Long Island City Community Boathouse where they rent out kayaks and canoes and stuff to people who want to do that. Once again, more of a summer activity. They have a community boathouse here so you can rent out different water paraphernalia and go sailing in the open seas. So I walked deep into the industrial zone of Long Island City. It is, there's like no businesses anymore. There haven't been for at least the last like 15 minutes of this walk. <laughs> And it's just been tons of warehouses and stuff. But at the edge, there's a building over there. It's called Rooftop 808. And it's basically an awesome rooftop bar where you can come and chill and eat really, really good food. I think they specialize in Asian food, specialize in Chinese Asian food. And also, you have the Queensboro Bridge right behind it. So you'll have amazing views from the top of that rooftop bar. But the Queensboro Bridge is important because this is your access to Roosevelt Island. You can actually take a, a walking, driving path. All right, so. Our next site is hands down one of the most bizarre things I've seen in New York City so far and I highly recommend visiting if you're a tourist. This thing is called the Ancient Glacial Rock and it's just here in a back alley and it's just a massive rock. The word about it is that it used to be part of an ancient glacier that melted away um, and revealed Long Island but now it's in the center of Queens 
in Long Island City. Sorry, Western Queens in Long Island City. But it's just like, they, I guess they never decided to remove it because all around me is just modern sprawling city warehouses and stuff. And then there's just this massive rock in the middle of the street. So it's very cool, very bizarre, but I do recommend visiting because that's, where else do you get to see that? If you're in Long Island City, you might as well come see it. It's in some back alley here. All right, so behind me is another awesome location. If you're looking for a little more adrenaline, it's called The Cliffs. And it's basically a rock climbing gym here in Long Island City. And uh, you can come check it out if you want. You can do some rock climbing. So another really cool thing about Long Island City is that it's transformed. A lot of these warehouses have turned into film industry places. So TV shows and movies are filmed here and created here. And so even right here, there's a food truck. It's called Meals on Wheels for people in the film industry. So it's really cool. You might walk around here and spot some interesting characters and or movies being played out, but it is a, uh, a big studio set. There's a bunch of studios that are based out of Long Island City. So keep an eye out when you're here. Alrighty, so comparatively to all of New York City and specifically other neighborhoods inside of Queens, I can't really recommend Long Island City as a place for food. That being said, I did want to stop and take a little break for lunch and eat some food while I was here. So I looked for a nice place and I found an actual affordably delicious place called Burger Garage. And it's just a hamburger place. It's your basic all-American hamburger place. It is fitted to be kind of like a garage, like a sports garage or a uh, car garage. It's really good. Food was delicious. I had some sweet potato fries and a hamburger with a fried egg. It was magnificent and really good, so it gave me some more energy to continue the day. Uh, but yeah, once again, Long Island City, not the uh, number one recommendation for food in Queens, but this place was pretty good. But well, this place is known as the Sculpture Center, and it is a commission-based art venue and art show place. Um, they have different pieces of arts in there. It's also closed right now. I don't know, you have to kind of look up the events, but it's called the Sculpture Center, and uh, it's really cool on the adjacent street, on the other side of the street, they have a, uh, a, a giant sculpture of a, a man sitting down or a woman sitting down uh, in the middle of the street. But it's cool if you want to come check out their events online by looking up the Sculpture Center online and find out what's going on. Alright guys, so this is Court State Park and basically here is the old New York City Supreme Court. I, I don't think this thing is still in, uh, in use but there's this really cool fountain here and obviously the old building of the Supreme Court. And Court State Park is this really beautiful place in the middle of Long Island City with all these beautiful skyscrapers and stuff all around us. It's kind of like the more office district where you're gonna have a lot of people working but it's really nice and it's really close to one of the most famous spots in Long Island City which we're about to visit. All right, so the building behind me is known as the MoMA PS1. Uh, and this is a continuation from the Manhattan's MoMA, which is the Museum of Modern Art, which is one of the most famous museums in New York City. Um, and basically the continuation here is Long Island City is like one of its most famous sites because it is a continuation of one of the most famous museums in New York City. Inside you'll find a bunch of modern art and contemporary art as well as exhibits and venues that they do. They do all kinds of art shows and art exhibitions here. So just make sure you're checking out to see what's going on at the time that you're here. Um, and it looks like just for the little walls that I can see, looks like they have a lot of cool stuff going on in there. So just check it out. This is one of Long Island City's biggest attractions. So behind me is actually a really exciting location. This is home of Murray's Cheeses. It's their distribution center and where they have their famous cheese caves. Murray's Cheeses is a sort of cheese store. I don't really know how to counter it, but it's a, it's, a, it's a cheese location and they have a few locations in Manhattan where they have like cheese tastings and stuff. But this is the OG place. This is where they distribute the cheese from and they have cheese caves in here. So you can go and actually take tours of these cheese caves. I'm not doing it today because you know I never do these things, but uh, it is an option for you guys to do when you're here in Long Island City. It's a little bit ways away once again in kind of the dead area where it's just filled with warehouses and not much things to do for tourists, but it is a cool location nonetheless, so check out Murray's Cheeses when you're here. Alright guys, another really cool activity for you guys to do is to take another brewing tour. Back here, this place is called Transmitter Brewing Farmhouse Ales. They have a brewery back here in a back alley. The location is pretty cool, but it's, uh, it's definitely different. Um, but I haven't gone in, haven't done the tour, but it is a cool location and one of the higher rated things to do here in Long Island City. All right, so the building directly behind me right now is called St. Mary's Roman Catholic Church. And it is probably one of the bigger churches here in the Long Island City area. It's one of the more historic old looking ones. So you can come appreciate the cool architecture. I'm always here pointing out different cool churches in New York City because they're kind of hidden in between the landscapes of the urbanness. And then you just have these cool sprawling jumping out churches at you. That's gonna be one of our final locations. We've got one more coming up and then we are done with Long Island City. All right, so this spot is called Ale Wife. This is gonna be our final spot here in Long Island City. It is a brew pub. So that means it's a brewery and a pub. So they actually brew their own beer here and their ales and all their different types of drinks. And it's also a pub so you can go and actually drink them inside there. So uh, similar to all the other pubs and breweries that we've been to so far, 
great place, another one of the top ones, Ale Wife. Make sure you check it out when you're here in Long Island City. And that is going to be the end of our tour. I am basically going to jump over right now to the ferry port here and uh, jump on back home because this ferry actually connects me directly with the ferry port in my backyard at home to my building. Long Island City was a fun adventure. It was great. I had not too much expectations coming in here and it didn't blow my mind. I would say that if you're coming to New York City, do not have this place at the top of your list. It is not a neighborhood that I recommend rushing to, but if you have time to kill and you want to experience more residential life here in New York City, it could be a really cool spot for you to check out. But it's not that there's crazy stuff to do here and it's no uh, you know midtown Manhattan, but check it out on the list if you got the time enjoy it Please make sure that you guys check out the rest of the videos that I'm making from this series because there's tons I'm literally covering every notable neighborhood in New York City all the boroughs and the city itself So make sure that you check those out as well subscribe and turn those notifications So you don't miss a single one of those episodes if you want to support this channel You can buy my merchandise down in the description below or on screen right now. We'll see you guys in the next one. I love you a long time. Goodbye clats